Oh, it's like I planned it. Hello, welcome to Bohan Guitars. So I thought I'd talk about gluing on the back. I glue, 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 I glue on the back with epoxy. And why I do that is for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is it's good glue and very strong. Uh, another reason is um, it isn't a concern of mine for future repairs because if a back has to come off one of my instruments, the glue that I use to glue on that back is just the least of my concerns. Something is incredibly wrong and I don't care what glue I used. That would just be the last thing I'm thinking about. Um, and the other reason, kind of the reason that got me started on it, is I finish the insides of my instruments and and if you use type bond especially on dark woods like you know any rosewood um, the residue is kind of annoying to clean up because it's it's a real bitch to sand in here and in there and all that So, you can see the epoxy residue here, just shiny. Um, sometimes in here, it'll get, there'll just be some very small lumps or something. Um, so I just, I spend hardly any time like this is 320 and I'll, I'll just like hit hit it that hard in here like that I spend like 20 seconds just sanding it and I don't um it's just to knock off any kind of blobs any high points that sort of occurred while drying um and you with the epoxy cleanup you just use uh after it's all clamped up, you use um, denurtured alcohol. So, why I like another reason why I like epoxy. This is shellac. Um, I'll try and show you. So. The reason why I like it is it completely disappears, like any residue, it just disappears under shellac. And that's a massive factor for me, because all that horrible sanding. Even with, um, like if you use tight bond and uh, you were diligent with cleaning up with um, water and everything it's still you can just it's just invisible I'll do one more coat and then that is going to be completely invisible it's already invisible as it is especially when I glue the top on it's going to be dark in there um, uh, yeah, even with careful cleanup with the tight bond, um, or high glue, uh, it, uh, the residue is really difficult to completely get rid of. And there's nothing worse than, you know, sanding up against a brace. And so the epoxy is fantastic. And you can 
use a brush like I'm doing um, or a, a small pad or something um, you know just whatever works whatever you prefer I mix it up you probably get a neater um, result with doing it the way I'm doing it right now I'm doing it a few times And why I finish the inside is um, I don't claim that it stops anything, but I do claim that it minimizes uh, moisture absorption, which is important. You want to minimize that as much as you can. Um, can't really stop it because wood is a breathing thing. Um, I guess you could stop it if you dipped the entire thing in kind of resin or something. Um, but apart from that, there's not much to do other than keep it, you know, humidified, you know, uh, environment which is about 45%. Um, and it's. 42 in here, which is good. Anything between 40, 50. Uh, is appropriate. And getting around this label is kind of tricky. I prefer to use a brush around the label. Before I used to spray on shellac um, after I, no, before I glued in the label, but I found the labels didn't stick very well. So I have started doing it this way. It's kind of, it may add a couple of minutes to the build, but you know. And I don't care if I get a bit of shellac on the label. It's just, you know, it's a hand built instrument. And there's certain things people shouldn't worry about. Yeah, so I also do the sides, um, shellac the sides before I glue the back on, but if I forget then I just do it now, and then I, I try and keep the majority of my brush strokes with the grain. places I've done don't look, you know, shiny, but uh, they're done. And uh, so I'll just keep on with this. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, a couple of reasons why I use epoxy on the back to glue the back on. And also the benefits of doing it just in regard, regard to sealing the inside. Uh, I think it's beneficial and it's you know, there's not much shellac going on it doesn't do anything to the sound it doesn't make it worse it doesn't make it better so just disregard any sort of questions about that don't ask me silly dumb stuff please but I guess asking a question even a dumb one is, well, no, it's not dumb. It's a good question. It's just annoying when you hear it 5,000 times. Um, asking questions is always good. 
means you want to learn and that you haven't stopped wanting to learn, which is also always a desirable trait in someone. Always be suspicious of someone who doesn't ask questions, because that means they think they know everything or aren't interested. And what good are they? Um, so I will. I'm just going to continue doing this. It's actually quite meditative. Meditative? 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 Um, just watch for brush strokes. Shellac can build up pretty quick, so you want to work reasonably quick. But actually, sh before I forget, shellac is actually a good sealer. I thought it wasn't, but then I saw a book published by the Wood Database. Um, I forget the name of the... it's like wooddatabase.com, I think. Uh, but I forget the name of the book. Um, but it's got a graph in there that shows the sealing qualities of different finishes, and shellac was actually the highest, which was a pretty cool thing to learn. Um, I forget how thick it was or anything, but, you know, it's never very thick. Um, and it, I th from memory, it beat polyurethane the same thickness, which was another big surprise. Um, yeah, so that is... finishing stuff <laughs> and I'm about to glue the I did this just before I glue the top on so it's going to be beautiful um, so see how it looks kind of a bit patchy it's I mean the inside isn't the outside I, I just life is too short like if you if you <laughs> if you're a millionaire and you've got time to French polish the inside really well, then you know, go for it. But uh, yeah, that isn't for me. This is uh, good enough. It looks fantastic now, and it's going to look great um, even better when the top goes on. Um, so I hope you learned something. And I do have shellac on my fingers, so. Just a, something to avoid. Okay, thank you. Bye. Brazilian rosewood with uh, walnut solid lines. And some virgin's blood. Also known as shellac. Just saturate this and this is end grain so it 
basically soaks up a lot. And uh, what I'll do is just stuff that in there and then let it dry and then sand it back and then do it again. I haven't radius the top yet, so it doesn't matter if stuff gets on there. Done. Is another one? Same wood. These stains here, that is um, CA glue, which become invisible under black. Another way I'd do it 